Okay, this pot is empty, but it's Monday and we're gonna fill it up, right? Great, I'm so excited because today I have better hair. <laughs> Bill is teasing me about my hair and even in the videos, I'm like, I'm just gonna be real. Some days you have good hair, right? Some days you have bold hair. Some days I have hot tub hair. <laughs> Sometimes I must have I don't care hair because it's all over the place. But, you know, we laugh at that. I used to be so concerned about those things. And it's nice to look nice and I try to look good for my husband and for people. But also, you know, when you're at home, sometimes we're just real, right? I'm cooking. I don't always have the hair did up and real nice. Okay, so today I am going to try to stick with Bill's uh, new thing, you know, no bread no processed foods and no sugar and it's really you know you you don't even realize like these things are in your diet necessarily or how much of them until you start eliminating them right but one thing you can have is lean red meat um uh, i like to buy organic hamburgers some people are like why do you spend the money on that because it's just me and him and we can and we just go ahead and do um i just really concerned about everything <laughs> They put in our food today and things we don't ask for, things we don't want, things we don't need. So I got some hamburger in here and I'm gonna try to do better about letting you see what I'm actually doing here. I'm gonna add some onion. I just think onion adds so much flavor, right? I love um, the smell of onions and I just love onions. So I'm gonna take, this is probably a, what, quarter of a big big one, half of a little one. Um, when we're cooking here, I'm just gonna be cooking the way I cook normally. I don't always measure everything out. I don't always um, work like that because it's just over the years I've just developed, I've done this meat love so many times, right? So <laughs> I just quit measuring. So I'm gonna chop this up real fun. Hope you guys had a great uh, day and weekend and uh, get in the swing of this week. And we are moving into fall weather now. Kentucky has gotten a little chilly out there. Definitely. We went from swimming in the 80s and being on the boat to bringing the boat home. It's getting all prettied up and put away for winter, winterized. And then uh, we've been asking the Lord, what can we do for the next season so that we don't become couch potatoes? <laughs> I don't want to be a couch potato. No, no, no. So I'll, let, I'll keep you posted on that. So I just chopped up all that onion and I'm going to dump it in here. This is, I just dump everything into here and then I mesh it all together. I'm going to put one egg, one egg, in this meatloaf. Okay, now I use some ketchup. How much? I don't even know. Let me try to measure it. Just like, okay, let's say a third a cup. Let's say a third a cup because that's about what I use. <laughs> okay. And then I use probably a couple of tablespoons. A Worcestershire sauce. Uh, sometimes more or less. I use this in a lot of beef things. My um, Bill's grandma turned me on to it. It just makes things taste good. I, I can't explain, especially red meat. I use it in a lot of red meat. So then we're gonna put in some brown sugar. Let's use that third cup again. You know, that's, I normally kind of just dump things in here, but I'm gonna try to have like an actual something you can reproduce. Let's try a 30 cup of that. Mm, no, I didn't mush it down. So I probably need to put a little more of that in there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got an egg, we got onions, we got some ketchup, we got some Worcestershire sauce. Okay, now I like to use garlic. Let's get a teaspoon. Ow. teaspoon of garlic and 
I'm gonna add more of this. I can, so how much Worcestershire? I can tell by the color. I'm gonna put a little more of that um, brown sugar in. So I've done it, I'm kind of using my eyes to see. I also use a little onion powder and a little garlic, salt or garlic powder. Don't use much salt, but a little. And then let me grab the pepper. I love pepper. Me and Bella eat a lot of pepper. I don't know. I've heard good and bad about pepper, but we do like it. The thing, I want my food to have flavor. I don't want it to be a raw slab of hamburger just cooked up. And that's meatloaf. I just, I won't eat it. So right now, I've got all these ingredients and I washed my hands. So I'm gonna just take and squish all this together. You know, one thing the Lord has made me a platform on social media and I'm a digital creator. That means I create things and people respond to it. And a lot of things I just share that other people have created. And if it touches me, I share it with you. And then sometimes the Lord told me he's going to give me some encouragement, things to encourage you, th things to make you think. Because I'm 63. I'm a little bit further down the road than a lot of you. I would like to think that by showing you an easy recipe, cooking's not that hard, and you can make something yummy pretty easy. And also by sharing the Word of God with you, I can help you divert a lot of things that just, I didn't know. I knew the Word of God sometimes, but I didn't know how to use it. I knew sometimes I didn't even know the Word of God, so when the enemy lied to me, I believed him. So we're gonna spend some time together eating, cooking, trying to be healthy. These are breadcrumbs, and I'm gonna put some of them, how many, how much, Glenda? Let's try a third a cup, let's try two thirds a cup, okay? I can tell by how it feels. And I'm gonna mix all that. What you're gonna come to is a consistency and texture, and you'll be able to just tell. Now, one thing that I like to add to, and you may or may not have it. Let me wash my hands. Is I buy a lot of the seasonings from the store, like um, steak seasoning, you know, Jamaican jerk seasoning. We buy a lot of seasonings, they're already pre-mixed. So some of those things make it a lot easier to cook. Like when I'm doing blackened fish, I already got the blackened seasoning. It's great, right? I'm sure you do the same. So this one's called Back Porch Burger and it's good on hamburger. So I'm gonna put some of that in there. You know, look at your food that you're making. Look in there, do you see? You know, the spices in there. Okay, this feels kind of wet still, so I'm gonna add a little more. A little more of those breadcrumbs. You don't want it wet and soggy meatloaf. No. You want it to be nice. And when it bakes, it'll make the whole house smell good. And then on the top of it, I take, um, I take some um, ketchup brown sugar and just whip it and a little Worcestershire sauce and I just whip it and I just whip it good and it makes a nice and I put on the last like 10 minutes of baking and it just caramelizes into it so now as you've been seeing I've been adding you know I probably end up adding a cup to this instead of like a third cup it's so hard to measure because I just make stuff I can tell by the way it feels. It's starting to feel less mushy. It's coming together. And I'm gonna put it in this bowl over here. Okay. Right there. Right there. And I'm gonna make it into my little meatloaf shape. Now, by the time I get it to this point, I can usually tell if it's the right consistency. See how nice? It just makes the prettiest little meatloaf. Okay, I'm gonna cover that with foil. I'm gonna put it in the oven. 
Mm, probably 40 minutes, sometimes an hour. Depends on how thick you make it. I used to pound a hamburger and I get it just nice and evened out like that. And we're gonna put it in the oven. So today, many of you, I've raised my kids. Now I'm a grandma. But there's one thing I can share with you today. Make sure whatever words you're speaking over your children or to your children are words of life. Okay? You are the person today because someone spoke life into you. You may be the depressed, unproductive person because people did not speak life into you. And you may be walking in things that just because you never knew, you never had the chance to know the truth. You never had the chance to learn. But you can stop right now and repent if you're saying things you shouldn't be saying over your children. You know, you can be in circles sometime and like, oh, there's Jimmy, little Jimmy Joe, and he's such a rebel and he's always been a rebel and he's like four, okay? And he just doesn't want to mind. He's just not a good, he just is bad. Don't say that. Children are children. They're learning by watching us. We have to speak life. Do not speak curses over your children. Do not speak curses over yourself. I am saying this because we have lived it. Bill used to have a bad mouth. I had a bad mouth. I used to switch seasons through a life where I just talked like a sailor and then wonder why nothing in my life was going right. I was cursing my life with my words. Bill was the same way. He didn't learn how to do that. He went down a wrong path before he knew Christ. And when he first come to know Christ, before he knew that life and death is in the tongue and you will eat the fruit thereof, you will eat that fruit of your words. So if you're speaking cursing, you know, his pressure washer used to tear up years ago and he'd get mad and he'd kick it and cuss it and everything else. And the Lord said one day, he said, you're cursing the very thing that you need. And he kept breaking. You, God can't bless what you're cursing. So let's not curse our very selves or our children, right? Catch yourself. Are you saying stupid things? Are you saying maybe just kidding? I used to do that. Oh, ha ha, that's kidding. No, it's not funny. Don't say negative things about yourself, especially not about your children. The Lord told me he's gonna hold me accountable for every word I speak over my children, to my children. And I've repented if I ever said bad things and I repent all the time because you know what? I wanna be, I wanna be a good parent. I wanna speak life. Even today, I wanna speak life over my adult children. Let's eat the fruit of good words. They bring life or death. Every single day, every single choice to your family, to your lineage, speak life.